masarap. So, hello guys. Um, kung nandito na kayo, uh, I am assuming na paano ba ito sabihin? Like, um, I am assuming na galing kayo sa previous vids ko kasi like, next topic na to eh. Pero kung hindi, then I guess kailangan. <laughs> Baka kailangan nyo lang tong topic na to and napadpad kayo dito. So, yeah. Par, uh, statics of particles. So, kasali pa rin to guys sa, I mean, sa ES10. Sa, yun nga, sa ES10. I mean, yung description nun, sinabi ko na sa, sa first na video. So, Ayan, so ibang tapi, ah, I mean, ibang chapter na kasi to eh. So, statics of particles. So, in, in, in this chapter, I mean, sa, sa following videos, ang uh, itatakol natin, uh, I mean, it's, it's all about, I mean, you know, I mean, like, no, hindi itatakol. Like, I mean, yung goals natin dito, like, kapag matapos natin yung chapter na to, um, expected natin na, like, na describe na natin yung force as a vector quantity. Um, na determine na natin de determine na natin yung resultant of multiple multiple forces acting on a particle uh, resolve forces into components um, marunong na tayo mag-add ng forces and also um, we can use the concept of um, FBD in the analysis of equilibrium problems so like May introduce na natin yung FBD which stands for um <laughs> later na para maging interested kayo. <laughs> Aray, ano yun? So wait, na pulling ako guys sa glit. <laughs> so erase na natin to. Medyo wala na tayong whiteboard marker so like bear with me in this one. So, part ng statics of particles ay yung addition of planar forces. So, i-describe ulit natin kung ano yung force. Kung nanood din kayo sa earlier vids, nasabi ko na doon at sinulat ko pa doon. Pero like, Eto, hindi ko na siya isusulat, ha? Like, force represents action of one body on another and characterized by... So, so force, uh, uh, force. This, uh, this is, um, characterized by, um, tatlo. Yung una is that yung point of application pangalawa yung magnitude and pangatlo forces are vectors diba so like may magnitude siya and uh, yes tama kayo direction <laughs> direction so like yung direction kasali na dito yung LOA so Nasabi ko na rin siya sa earlier vids ko ano meaning ng LOA. So, LOA or LOA stands for um, 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 um na paano yun? <laughs> Line of action. Wala na talaga akong ink masyado guys. Line of action and kasali dito sa direction yung line of action pati na rin yung sense. So, yung sense um, basically like kung kung iano nyo siya masyado like yung, yung sense kasi like more like kung saan patungo yung force. Kasi like, opposite sense, meaning, sa par uh, I mean, para, uh, same line of action but opposite sense. So like, nandito yung, nandito yung line of action, tapos yung direction sa padito. Yung direction ay sa padito. So like, yan, opposite sense. So eto yun. Force, this is characterized by point of application, magnitude, and direction. So, Part din dito, maliban sa addition of planar forces, part din ng statics of particles ay yung vectors. Okay? So like, we all know na vectors kapag meron siyang magnitude and meron siyang direction. So like, 
there are lots of um think uh lots of examples ng vectors ng ng mga units na may ay ng mga ano na may magnitude at may direction so like to name some few like velocity vector ah uh, velocity ah uh, I mean to name some few like um acceleration parang ganun vector yan velocity hindi siya vector so like sa vectors din meron din tayong iba-iba I mean subcategory so the first one wala na talaga pagpasensyahan nyo na the first one is uh, the fix the fix or also known as bound vectors second yung free vectors and third ay yung sliding vectors am I right? yeah sliding vectors so like Karis muna natin, okay? So, dahil sa vectors na tayo, i-erase ko na yung nasa ibabaw. Babalikan natin yan in a while sa mga examples natin at sa mga practice problems natin. So, bear with me lang. So, like, yung sa vectors, yung first, yung, oh, sorry. Laglag ko yung pen ko. So first, yung fix or bound vector. So fix or so-called as fix vectors or bound vectors, like well-defined points of application, like fix, well-defined. I mean, gets you na to. Gets ba? Like fix, fix lang. Ganon. Free vectors, free can be free, freely move. Like kung amon yao. Get amon yao. Ganito yun na, di ba? Una. Ito yung fix vector. Fix. Pangalawa. Free vector. Yung free vector, free to move. Parang ganon. And pangatlo, yung sliding vector. So, sliding vector um, is that can be moved along their line of action. So, let's say for instance, their line of action, nandito yung line of action. Yung free vector, ganito, namumove siya pag ganito lang. Di, ay, sorry, pangit ang araw ko. Ganyan, dito lang siya namumove sa line of action niya. Yung free vector, kahit sa ang part dyan, pwede mo yung ilagay. Yung fixed vector, dito lang talaga siya. Hindi mo talaga siya, like, ma-slide sa kanyang line of action. Hindi mo rin siya matatransfer sa, ano, like, dyan lang talaga siya. So, basically, yan. Yan yung, ah, uh, ah, para bata sabihin gets you na <laughs> that's the <laughs> ano ano yun pambihira wala ko <laughs> so basically that that yan yun so uh, after sa addition of planar forces sa vectors magpo-proceed tayo sa addition of vectors ah let me have ma That's it. So like addition of vectors. Hooray! So like, may dalawang klase tayo sa pag-add ng vectors eh. Una ay yung graphically and pangalawa ay yung analytical. Tickly. So, kung napapansin nyo, may space ako dito na nilagay. Kasi like, may subcategory pa to. Um, sa graph, uh, in addition, adding vectors graphically, meron tayong tatlo. And sa gra uh, addition of vectors analytically, meron tayong dalawa. Joke, let's change na, no? One and two. So, dito sa graphically, tama ba yung spelling ko? Oh my gosh, gab. So, dito, meron tayong parallelogram. Baka mali na naman yung spelling ko. <laughs> parallelogram law of addition. And, pangalawa, triangle law or rule. This is also known as, like, um, tip to tail na adding ng vectors and pangatlo yung 
polygon rule of addition. Dito naman sa um, addition of vectors um, sa ana analytically, like meron tayong law of sines and cosines and lastly meron din tayong rectangular components rectangular components thanks boy